right. Okay, so, and, oh, so as I realized, you're going to use public transport. Perfect. Yes, because um, I, when I travel to the US, so MRT is the, is the best transport. Yeah, of course you can, of course you can use so, but you know, you need to have, you know, maps and the schedule. So if you, when you travel, of course you can have map and for example, schedule to know the time, but you know, you can easily uh, actually travel by MRT 24 hours per day. So it's okay whenever, wherever you can use it easily. And I think, yeah, it's, it's really reasonable so to use. Thank you very much for your information. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so so you're going to travel to the US and California? Mm, yes, I intend to do that. Mm, that's perfect. That's perfect. And why not? So I hope very soon. Maybe I can I can see you. Maybe I can meet you. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, let's get started. So if you have any other questions, so let's talk. If no, we can move on to our topic. So it's your choice. Yeah, um, I would like to know um, the supermarket in California, the working time of them. Yeah, OK, no. so I if you want to uh, buy something, first of all, uh, so you know that there are some places because uh, first of all, it's like, you know, the price. So, yeah. uh, so I think the best actually, so because normally if people want to buy something like reasonable, with reasonable prices, of course, they would prefer Costco. So you may heard about it. I'm not sure. Yeah. So yeah, of <laughs> course. So and so and it depends. So if you want to, for example, if it's a convenience market or, for example, uh, something like Costco or, for example, so it depends. So normally, you know, uh, just for example, uh, I'm talking about, I don't know, uh, like, for example, Costco, if I want to give you, it's like about 9 a.m., 9, 9.30 and uh, just it depends in some days, for example, Monday, Friday, it's 10 a.m. and 2, 7 p.m. And another for all the days, 9, 30 or 9 to 6 p.m. So and Sunday closed, so you need to pay attention. So but the best place to buy what you need. So we normally do some shopping in Costco. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, and. Um. Maybe when I um, <clears throat> at that time I have to consider the supermarket around the hotel and choose the suitable one. Three. Yeah. Mm, when I uh, when I come to the hotel, I Four. can looking for the supermarket around the hotel. Of course. The suitable one. Yeah. So of course, of course, it's for example, you know, some uh, locations. So some places are open 24 hours. Uh, so you can easily, of course, and you can. Uh, what, I, I don't know. So first of all, you need to actually be aware about the place and location that you're gonna stay. So for example, which hotel, and then of course you can get help and uh, something like from reception or for example people who work uh in there about for example the closest supermarkets okay so but uh for example some i don't know grocery shops okay they normally actually yeah they normally start working early morning and for example and they work late night late at night so it's like uh you can easily find somewhere to i don't know do some grocery shopping so there is no worries about it. I think don't worry about it. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. OK, well, so and any other questions? Mm, no, thanks. 
OK, well. And now let's get started. Actually, uh, last session I checked your answer. I wanted to talk about your answer about the topic of uh, health. And now it's not bad to talk about. So let's get started. OK, well. So just let me check your answers one by one because I need to have them. OK, your first answer. What do you do to stay healthy? You wrote stay healthy. I exercise every day, yoga, swimming, jogging, and I also focus on cleaning eating, clean eating. OK, so you mean hygiene. So that is really important how to use clean. So it's like hygiene food. So you know that it's like clean. So I write for you. So how to make your answer better? OK, well, uh, first of all, Exercise is good, but I would prefer workout. Right. Else I would prefer workout. So if I were you, I would say that, for example, I stay, I try to stay in shape by working out. I try to stay in shape or I stay in shape by working out. So, this is the first one. Um, and uh, you also said that, okay, for example, you mean, I don't know, but I didn't get what you mean when you say clean uh, food. Just, you know, you yeah. mean, for example, you don't eat street food that because you think they're not clean, so you mean this? Yes. Okay. Um, Clean food in Vietnam means that the food is less chemicals as much as possible. Yeah. Because oh. now in Vietnam, they use a lot of chemical on the vegetable, meat. They, oh. uh, they let the pork, uh, the cow eat a lot of chemical. So on um, this meat, the vegetable is not clean to me, I yeah, think. And many course. people think that. So clean food means that the, the food, the vegetable or the meat grow up naturally. Yeah, of course, of course, got it. So you mean organic without yeah, organic, organic food. food? Yeah, of course. And vegetables, of course, fruit and vegetables without any addition or chemicals. So now I got it. OK, well, and I also focus. This one is good, but when you want to be sure so you can say that I make it a point, I make it a point means to be sure. To be sure, for example, I say I make it a point to, for example, eat organic food or organic vegetables, for example. Organic vegetables, for example. It means this one is better because, of course, you focus, you try to be sure that, for example, everything is healthy, organic. So this way is better. So there is another uh, actually word or phrase that you can use. So you eat a balanced diet. That is really important with fruit, vegetables, and for example, so this way, if you eat a balanced diet, means of course you get everything that you need, all the nutrition that you need. So. This way you can improve your answer. Well, do you get ill very often? Yes, sadly, I catch cold very easy when it's cold. OK, when it's cold, I catch cold and when it's so whether it's hot or cold. 
So this way you can say that I catch cold. Unfortunately, I catch cold whether it's hot or cold. So this one is better. Whether it's hot or cold. OK, this way is better. Well, so if you are so uh, healthy, you have a healthy body, you are, for example, healthy, you rarely get ill, you can say that, fortunately, I am in good health. I am in good health. If you're not, unfortunately, I'm not in good health. So, or for example, unfortunately, I'm in poor health. So, I'm in poor health means I'm not really healthy, not really strong. So, well. So the way that we can write your answer, unfortunately, you know, I you know, sometimes maybe I catch cold, whether it's hot or cold. So I normally, I usually, and because when it's hot, I oh, sweat a lot. If I don't, oh, why but shut off immediately? Uh, it will go into my body and I can. So you can't, it, it's not something that you explain. Of course you can say, but just you know this is part one so for example you can say maybe it's because of sweating like for example when it's too hot so i think i sweat a lot and because of this i catch cold so yeah and the next one is there anything you'd like to improve about your fitness okay of course if possible i would like to have better physical strength and endurance endurance what you mean because i couldn't get what you mean why did you use this here uh, physical strength it means strong of course and this one i know endurance uh, experience mean, uh, it's mean that um, what person can work along 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 and it's hard to tired i know i know but here is not Good one because of the meaning of this physical strength better endurance is not good so yeah when you say physical strength so it's good it's acceptable but here this word is not acceptable is not good my health is far worse than this one is good is not good and also worse than normal person I always wished I had enough physical strength to be able to carry a backpack and go backpacking like everyone else, but unfortunately I can't carry. Okay, even so let's talk about this one and how to make it. This one is good, so we need to omit a part of it because it's extra, but how to make uh, this answer. So you want to say that you are not, for example, here you can use unfortunately um, a her health comparing my sister who is in a good health for example this way you can say and uh, actually when you want to talk, yeah physical strength is good so I try I wish I could be for example uh, stronger healthier so because of this or physically healthy so this one is really important. So I wish I could maintain my physical health so that I could, I don't know, do some exercise and like this. So here uh, you need to, first of all, you need to say that. Let's omit the rest of it because it's like, uh, it's carrying a backpack. It's a bit difficult to me because I am not in a good health. Or, for example, how to say, you can say that, mm, I don't feel I'm not alive and kicking. So, or I'm not perfectly healthy. All these phrases can be used, okay? So, let me write. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, of course, of course. Yeah, 
Man back. Monster is live and kicking. Very healthy. Strong, healthy. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not perfectly healthy. For example, I'm not enjoying good health. I'm not enjoying good health. Okay. Well, and now uh, let's check the rest of it to see. Okay. This one is good. I wished I had. I always wish I wished is better. Had enough physical strength. OK, I wish I were. So I wish I were physically strong, physically strong. So this one is better to be able to carry my backpack easily and to go backpacking. So this one is good, but unfortunately I can't. I can't enough. I can't carry no because you mentioned you already mentioned it before. So here and you know, yeah, even carrying small here. This one is extra. Even carrying small backpack makes my shoulder hurt. This one is extra. However, I'm not too sad about this because people can't be perfect. This one is good. I don't concern this because it's really normal and we can't be perfect. OK, I already have too much, so having a little lack of health is OK. So I have no. Yeah, that's this one is really good. So no matter and no problem with having a, I don't know, a little problem. So of course I try to maintain my physical health. So this one is I just try to exercise regularly. This one is good. OK, so I do my I do my exercise i do exercise on a daily basis regularly on a daily basis so i do exercise or i make it a point to do exercise on a daily basis to maintain my to maintain my physical health Well, the next question, just you have any questions related to this part? Just, you know, or no, mm. keep going. No. Um, ah. Are you I, careful I, about, I, yeah, what you eat? Yes, I'm very careful about, oh, here, first of all. Yes, I am very careful, definitely no, because first of all, when you want to make your answer, first a short answer, OK, yes, definitely, most definitely, of course, sure. Stop, then explain, OK? And please avoid repeating the same words. I'm very careful about what I eat. I only choose fresh food and less chemicals. I grew a small vegetable. Oh, I plant, I plant vegetables. So this one, I have a small garden and I plant I have a small garden and I plant vegetables. So this one. And I really, yeah, this one. I, okay, I would prefer to dine in. So eat in. And I rarely dine out, eat out, go to restaurant, dine in, dine out. So, I would prefer home cooked meal, home cooked, something that you eat, you make at home. Okay, cleanly as, okay, and as cleanly, this, this one is not good, this one is not good. I really go to a restaurant because I'm not sure about the quality of food. I'm not sure about the quality of food or I think they can't prepare food. So this one is better, for example, as I don't know, as perfect as, for example, good, but cleanly, no, it's not good. And as I do, 
and they cannot cook too much. Oh, of course. So you are a picky eater. So of course, maybe what they cook is not my taste. So why not? You can say it's not my taste. And well, I don't care much about how many. Oh, this one. So I cook myself. However, I don't care about much <laughs> how many calories, how many protein. OK, I don't care about maybe calories and nutritious. So nutrition is better here. So because when you say, for example, protein, mineral, vitamin. OK, so you mean nutrition. OK. So this one and I only care about whether the food is clean. Hygiene is better and delicious. Delicious is good, but we prefer uh, delectable, tasty, all of them. So it can be tasty, delectable. And in addition, I also try not to eat too much to control. Yeah, this one I try. I endeavor. Endeavor means try. So this one is better, I think, not to eat. OK. Wow. And just this, OK. Well, now let's check the next one. OK, well, so how I made my answer. So I say, are you careful about what you eat? For example, uh, I say just I want you to compare. This is part one. So I say if I were you, I would say I try very hard to have a healthy diet. Uh, even when I eat out at a restaurant, I rarely buy takeaways. And when I go out with friends, for example, for fish and chips, uh, I only have the fish with, for example, some peas like this. So, you know, I want to say that you don't need to push yourself or force yourself to actually make a line because this is part one and just this. As you heard, I didn't use very complicated or, for example, challenging words. Just, you know, I uh, answered naturally. That is really important to answer the question naturally. So, yeah, to eat, to have a healthy diet, for example, uh, consists of nutrition and protein, enough protein, vegetables, fruit, and just this. I really buy takeaways I really buy takeaways so you can say or junk food and when I go out and I have to eat out or dine out I would prefer to for example it's something like fish or a healthy food like this okay just this and the next one how important is a healthy lifestyle for you Yes, of course, yes, should be omitted. This is not a yes, no question, how important. So a healthy lifestyle is very important. Again, omitted because we don't repeat. It's better not to repeat exactly the same word from question. Living a healthy life, good one, helps me have the health, yeah, very good, to do things I want to do. So here, Having living a healthy life help me have, for example, help me or make me or enables me or allows me. I would like this one allows me, for example, to be stronger. To be healthier. So you don't need, need to say, for example, have the health. We don't have the health. So to be in a good health, to be stronger. Moreover, a healthy life not only helps me uh, maintain physical health, but also a happy physical health and mental health, but also mental health. So physical health and 
not only physical health, but also my mental health. And most of my friends are also people with positive, positive no, like healthy lifestyle. So although no, so or although. So life in society still has many dark corners, so it's okay. But around me, life is still very this one. Although, so remove, so although actually life in society maybe modern life or for example i don't know maybe people's life is a bit i don't know or society condition is a bit uncomfortable and has many dark corners but for example i still my life is still very beautiful so this way you can make your answer Okay, just remove some words. They're not useful, so it's better not to use them. Okay, so because you try to keep active, you try to, for example, maintain your health by eating healthy, so this way, and by eating, I don't know, something like by doing yoga, meditation, so just keeping active, so this one you can use, keeping active, so, and eating a healthy diet, and of course, workout. Well, and so, of course. So we can say that, yeah, uh, of course, it's one of the most important things for everyone, especially me, because of course, we want to feel good. We want to enjoy life. If you don't have good health, then everything else in life is a struggle. So this way you can say, maybe it's better to add this one. So if, if you don't have good health, then everything is a struggle. What? Okay, we're going to keep going with part two. Just if you have any questions related to part one, now it's time to ask. No time. No time. Okay, well, keep going. So part two, describe a change you have made to improve your health and that you would recommend to others, you should say. Okay, let's see. Uh, may I ask you to do something? Could you please read your answer? Because of course it's speaking, so it's better. Please give me your answer. Just say it again. So of course I'm checking it now. I want you to read it and then I can check it and we can talk about it. Nine years ago, the no, sports, the sports the, of the course. My health, my health the most is yoga. is yoga. Nine years ago, although I often played badminton and swam, my health was still not very good. Once I had a cough that lasted for more than a month and I took a lot of medicine, but it did not go away. At that time, a friend advised me to practice yoga to avoid injured. While practicing yoga, I invited a personal a personal trainer to practice? Yeah, to practice for three months and then went to a community class to practice. The strange thing is that when I focused on practicing yoga, I did not cough at all. And after only a short time of practicing, my cough was completely gone. Well, uh, not, not only not only that, my physical strength increased significantly. Yeah, and when playing badminton, the speed at which I rushed to the shuttlecock 
was much farther than before. And I was also less tired when playing badminton. Yoga is an exercise that is not only good for physical health, but also good for mental health. However, practicing yoga incorrectly can easily lead to dangerous injury to your health. So choosing a good yoga instructor to practice with uh, to practice with is extremely necessary. Very good. First of all, thank you. So I want to say that something. Maybe in the future, I was listening to you and you know that you can tell stories. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Yeah, really. Because, you know, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of your voice or your tone or the way that you. I liked it. And really, I just try it in the future. I don't know if actually. Uh, I don't know if we will in connection or no. If you can tag me or not, just try it. I think you can maybe podcast, maybe story. I don't know, but you can, I think. I think you can. So, That's first good. of all. And <laughs> now, you know, the way that you read your answer is better than, you know, I read. So <laughs> I think that now I can understand it better. Well, that was really good. So the first one, uh, you said that the sport that helps me. So you don't need to begin your answer, the sport that helps me. You know, because, of course, we have it in question. And what is that? So you need to describe something that improve your health. So you can say that, yeah, I would like to tell you, I would like to tell you, for example, about, I don't know, for example, this sport, that is yoga. So uh, the first part, oh, we're up here, okay? Uh, so I would like to talk about yoga. So that's really good. Nine years ago, yeah, of course, although I often played badminton, so here you can say, for example, nine years ago, I was not in a physical, for example, good physical situation or good health. So I was in a pro health. OK, I was not. Or for example, I read something uh, here. I hope not really live and kicking. So uh, especially when swimming. OK, and my health was OK, despite so swimming, my health was still still not very good. So this one, once I had a cough, OK, that lasted. So this one is good. But you know, actually, this answer is good, but it's a bit different from different from the question. You know why? What it is? Why you decided to do it? It's good. I know that this is your reason why you decided because, for example, because of your physical situation condition, you decided to because you took a lot of medicine, but you know, they did not work. OK, so here, but it did not go away. How to say, OK, when you want to say get rid of illness. OK, so there are some EDMs. So first of all, let me teach you. Uh, if you want to say that, for example, uh, you recovered, recovered from an illness. So let me write here. To recover from an illness. So how to say get over means get over an illness. This is the first. Now you couldn't get rid of it. You took a lot of medicine, but you couldn't get rid of it. OK, so how to say. When you want to say get rid of illness. To get rid of an illness. Shake off an illness. So this one means to get rid of it. For example, I took a lot of medicines, but I couldn't actually shake off my cold, my, for example, illness. You can say shake off. I couldn't, for example, fight like this. 
I couldn't get rid of it. So another one. And now you tried, you try to get rid of it, the process I fight off for a month, for, for example, days, I fight off fight off an illness to try to get rid of it. So, and let me think if I can. OK, so then and ah, when you want to say that uh, actually something happened to you, for example, you uh, had I don't know, headache, OK? But to begin to have it, so it actually began to have something like, I don't know, pain in my shoulders, or for example, uh, I don't know, stomach ache. So to begin to have, to come down. So when you come down with an illness, it means to begin to have it. For example, sorry, I can't join the class because I came down or I have come down with cold. So, come down with an illness. I, for example, I remember that I came down with, for example, pain in my bag. So, like this, an illness that is to begin to have it. OK, so useful idioms that you can use. OK, now imagine if you use these idioms in addition to your sentences, it would be really good. OK, now you can use it. Well, at that time, a friend advised me to so OK to practice yoga that was really good so for example yeah i got a suggestion from my close friend i got a suggestion to for, from a close friend to do yoga to practice yoga so and to avoid injured or so you know that after avoid you need to use ing from a verb if you want to use verb if no noun is okay perfect you can say okay while practicing yoga while doing yoga i wanted a person okay that i asked a personal trainer to practice for three months yeah to train me so this one to practice with me to train we and then we went to a community class to practice, OK? This one is not good. Just this, yeah, I asked someone to help me doing yoga, an expert. So you can say, I asked to avoid getting hurt. So if I were you, I say, to avoid getting hurt, OK? I asked. Uh, for example, professional yoga trainer, for example, to help me doing yoga, to help me doing yoga this way. And you don't need to say, for example, we went somewhere, it's extra. And the strange thing is that when I focused on practicing yoga, I did not cough, okay? And that was surprising. That was, for example, ah, that's something like, uh, for example, that was really surprising, strange, no, that I didn't cover at all when doing yoga practice. You use it a lot. Now it's time to change. Do. So, uh, surprising is better. And after only short period of time, okay, short time of doing, of practicing, my cup has completely stopped. Now, here you can use this idiom. I could get rid of it completely. So it's done, it's finished. And not only that, and in addition, here I don't like this, not only that. And in addition, my physical strength, or moreover, in addition, my physical strength increased, improved significantly when playing badminton, the speed add which I rushed 
to this one is not good. The speed which it rushed to the, okay, I became stronger, so I could hit the shuttlecock stronger and I could make it faster. So this one is better and it was also less tired. This is really good when playing, yeah. Yoga, the last part. So yoga is an exercise, exercise, no, activity, sport. That is really good for actually to maintain your physical and mental health. To maintain our physical uh, health in addition to, for example, our mental health. However, doing yoga incorrectly, maybe in the wrong way, or if you don't know the rules and the methods, you may hurt yourself or it can cause some dangerous, for example, injuries, so it's okay, to your health, no, because of course injury is something related to your health, so you don't need to say, and so choosing, yeah, so having a good, a professional, an expert yoga trainer, yoga instructor is actually really essential to practice, so this way. Okay, any questions about this one, part two? Um, no, thanks. Okay, just, uh, yeah, yeah. of course, we have another part that is part three, but I will do something that I will check it. And because I don't want to talk about it again, next session we have another topic. So I will check it. I will correct them for you. I will write them for you. And I will send you the next topic and questions and you can think about them. Okay. And just, <laughs> you're welcome. And just this, but you know, let me say something when writing or for example, if you have any questions, if sometimes, for example, I don't know any point in your mind that uh, you can't get or you can't, for example, uh, do, you can ask me, maybe at that moment I can't check, but of course we can talk and I can help. So whenever you feel like that you need my assistance, just tell me, it's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome. Do you have any other questions, issues related to this part? Um, no, thanks. You're welcome. Don't forget about reading the stories. Yeah. And stories. Uh, you will give me a new topic. Of course, yes. New topic, new questions, of course. And actually, I, what do you think about books? So we can talk about books because it's another common topic. If you like, if no, I can choose another topic for you. Yeah, I love books. Of course. So because of this, I think it's a good topic to talk and we have a lot to talk. So I will send you the questions and the topic is books. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have a great, fruitful week. And it was really nice to... See you again, of course. Yeah, Just thank you very much. Well, wish you a full up happy week. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Hey, okay. bye.